What's the secret link between Napoleon, the grandfather clock, Polish soldiers in Italy and the traditional Polish nobleman's dance? Every song, including anthems, has two components, lyrics and music. The Polish anthem's lyrics were written by Józef Wybicki, a poet, composer, dramatist, lawyer, diplomat, political and military activist, Wybicki was a true polymath. In 1795, an aggressive pact by Poland's three neighbors erased Poland from the map. Two years later, Wybicki was in Italy, helping form Polish units to fight alongside Napoleon. Their aim was to regain Poland's lost independence. So Wybicki came up with a marching song to rally the troops. Poland has not yet perished, so long as we still live. What the alien force has taken from us, we shall retrieve with a saber. March, March Dombrowski, from the Italian land to Poland. Under your command, we shall rejoin the nation. It lifted their spirits, reminding them what they were fighting for. But for more than 200 years now, it is still a mystery who wrote the music. Scholars' best guess is that Wybicki wrote the melody. The legend goes that it was based on the sound of his grandfather clock. But whoever did it, they likely based it on the mazur. This national dance was popular amongst Polish nobility. And the first eight bars are extremely similar to a specific one from the late 18th century. That mazur, Pochwała Wesołości, goes like this. Compared to the anthem, there is little doubt that the author borrowed the tune. The resulting Martin Mazur was so popular, it survived nearly 130 years of Poland's non-existence. It finally became the official anthem in 1927, despite heavy competition. But that's another story.